Hi there. Students taking the BTEC Business Unit 2 in May 2019 need to do some research into a specific market as part of their Part A research. And this year, 2019, it's on the pop-up cinema market in the UK. So here, just for a few minutes, is a quick introduction to this market to provide some insights and information which hopefully will help the research process. Students as part of their Part A research are required to look at a variety of things in their six hours of research, including the size and share and structure of the market, who the main competitors are, who the product is targeted at, and also some of the key trends and influences on the market. And also they're required to look at the way in which uh, marketing campaigns are conducted by operators in the market, as well as do some primary research of their own. Obviously, this uh, short video can't cover all of that. We'll try and highlight some of the key features which may help students uh, frame their research. Firstly, let's just start off with what is a pop-up cinema. How does it differentiate or differ from your traditional uh, multiplex cinema? Well, essentially, the answer is in the name pop-up. It's a temporary or mobile cinema setup. A screen and associated technology such as projection, sound, lighting and all the other accessories required to create a cinema auditorium are brought together into an, uh, a new venue. Typically outdoors, but it doesn't have to be. It could be indoors. Now, in terms of the product in the UK, the market has a, a typical pricing point of between 11 and 20 pounds. Sometimes more if more added value services are provided during the day, for example, themed pop-up events. But typically the pricing is between 10 and 20 pounds. And the operators in the market make their revenues not just from ticket sales, uh, for example, by selling standard tickets or VIP deals or concessions, but also make money by selling food and drink and by uh, renting or selling accessories such as I don't know, seats, blankets, that kind of stuff. And some of the larger operators also earn revenues and sales from sponsorship, perhaps from the venue that they're using. Well, unfortunately for this research task, there is no official data on the size and structure of the market, which isn't particularly useful. However, what we've done is we've had a go estimating the market size and the growth by using other information that we've identified from secondary sources. So let's take a look. The starting point for this is that there does appear to be a clear market leader in the UK pop-up cinema market, a business called Luna Cinema which is, uh, has been around for 10 or 12 years. Looks like it's a fantastic operator, uh, running a, a large number of quite large events, uh, not just in London, but across the UK in some pretty spectacular venues. So Luna has around about 175, potentially 200 screenings a year. Their 29 programme looks particularly extensive. And they are reported in the press as now earning sales of over three million pounds per year. Well, if we can use this information to compare with the rest of the market, because other sources indicate that there are currently around about 800 to 1,000 pop-up screenings per year in the UK. This would suggest that Luna has a market share of around about a quarter of the market, although perhaps its screenings are larger on average than the rest of the market. Therefore, we estimate, and of course you have to take this with a pinch of salt, but it's a sensible estimate that the market value in the UK is probably around... 10 million pounds. We're told from other sources that Luna has grown by three times in the last three or four years, which would equate to an annual growth rate of around about 45% per year. Now, if we assume that Luna is increasing its market share, which it appears to be, then perhaps a sensible estimate for the overall market growth is 20 to 25%. Still a very strong growth in the market, though obviously Luna, as the market leader, is doing particularly well. Now, how does this compare with the larger cinema market? Well, a key thing to maybe mention in your uh, reports and in your work for the, uh, for the exam is that the pop-up cinema market is a tiny or a very small segment of the overall cinema market. It's a small niche. So to put it in perspective, we've estimated that the market size is 10 million. Well, in 2018, those who went to the traditional mainstream cinema market spent almost 1.3 billion pounds in ticket sales alone. That's just the box office takings, never mind the popcorn and the, uh, the nachos. 
the overall market there in, uh, in, in UK cinema, the, the mainstream cinema market, is therefore substantially larger than the pop-up market. However, it's not growing. So in 2018, it fell by 0.1%. 2019 might be better with films like Avengers Endgame and others, but generally the mainstream cinema market is static. What we've done in our um, blog entry, which supports this, there'll be a link to this below the video, uh, we have identified uh, a number of competitors in the market and provided links to their operations so you can see what they're doing, what kinds of screenings they're doing, what their positioning is. And it looks like there's 20 or 30 uh, decent sized pop-up cinema operators in the UK. Therefore, less concentrated is the market than the mainstream cinema market, which is dominated by the likes of View and Odeon and Cineworld and others. Well, some other key features, some other key influences and trends we've identified from our discussions with the industry and also from looking at the different programmes that around about three quarters of all pop-up screenings are in London, or in central London. The main target audience appears to be perhaps affluent adults, but adults nevertheless aged 25 to 35. And on average, just over two thirds of the audience are women, although that can increase significantly depending on the particular film that's being shown. Another change and trend in the market is that the most popular movies now in terms of gaining an audience are those which are relatively new. The likes of Mamma Mia, The Greatest Showman, Bohemian Rhapsody and so on. Whereas a few years ago, the most popular films for those attending pop-up cinemas tended to be classics like Jaws. And also, uh, it's been confirmed that demand is highly seasonal. The key sales period is, uh, well, between now, the start of May and September, with most venues outdoors. Therefore, it's largely, demand is largely seasonal in the summer months. And finally, just a few words on marketing campaigns and market research. Obviously, you need to uh, look out for maybe a marketing campaign by one of these operators, as well as do some of your own primary research. Well, what we've discovered is that PR or public relations is the key to marketing campaigns, is the key to success. And the reason for this is that there are lots of screenings out there, but you've got to make people aware of them. And public relations, for example, getting articles in Time Out or events listings, getting uh, uh, press releases out there, perhaps mentioning it on local radio or in newspapers is the key to building awareness. And then what you then do is you supplement that with email campaigns uh, to the database of attendees, as well as invest significantly in social media, including advertising on the likes of Instagram and Facebook, and perhaps even Google Ads. The key is to make sure that you're listed, is that you've got entries in all the events guides, the what's on guides, that your events, your upcoming screenings or program of screenings are mentioned in local news, and also that promotional material from the venue is sent out uh, referring to the screenings that are coming up. And then what you then do is you then sell your tickets. Uh, most of the operators appear to be selling direct from their websites and or using ticketing agencies. And of course, if you use a ticketing agency, the chances are you also lose uh, a fair uh, slice of the revenues to the ticketing agency uh, business or the website. There we go. Hopefully that's useful. It's over now to you, the business students, to conduct your primary research and perhaps look at one or two marketing campaigns in the remaining time. But that's just been an introduction to the pop-up cinema market here in the UK.